welcome. Welcome to the show, girl. Um, is everyone you know, color coordinated? I know, this was is a like great intention. No, but they oh. came you right into like a mustard they section, do, you know? a lime <laughs> green. How are you guys beautiful. feeling out there? <laughs> feeling good, feeling great. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hump now, day. we want to first of all say that you started your career as a talent manager. Mm -hmm. I did. And you still manage Missy Elliott, who we would like to yes. congratulate the yes. first female rapper to be inducted to the Songwriters yes. Hall, Hall of, of Fame. fame. Yes. That's awesome. And, and that the thing awesome. about Missy is being a, a, a performer yeah. and a songwriter, that combination, and she has dominated for how many decades now? Forever. Right? Oh. Forever. And Long so I'm remember. so proud of her, and she's so thrilled. Mona, she's thrilled. Right. Just one day, do you think you could have her come on our show? Oh, She's my all time, please. I know we should have had her Skype in or something. I know. Will, awesome. you, will you just tell us? Will you work on it? I will work on it. Okay, I, thank right. you. You the manager. You the manager. Okay. 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 Live. Any other favorite memories of you know, when you were a manager? Um, I don't know. I mean, talking about Missy, she, the funniest story that I always tell, because when I look at our history, it's 22 years later, mm -hmm. she didn't even want a manager. Like, I followed Missy around for three days while she was on the Lilith Fair tour, mm. and she completely ignored me the whole time, didn't want a manager, <laughs> and it wasn't until, like, the last day that I was like, oh, I'm over this. You know, here, I've set you up, I'm leaving, goodbye. She was like, uh, Mona, hold up, I want to talk to you. Uh -huh. And 22 years later, so... Hey, y'all still yeah. That's amazing. That's awesome. That is great. That is well, amazing. everyone pretty much knows you are the creator of the hugely successful Love & Hip Hop franchise. Yeah. <laughs> how the gift often? That keeps on giving. Yes. How, often, <laughs> how often do you get pitched ideas? All the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. I mean, everybody thinks they belong on television. Mm -hmm. My oh, Uber girl. driver, the you know, <laughs> guy at the supermarket. <laughs> yes. So, where's the strangest place you've received a pitch? Um, probably, I was going to have a medical procedure and literally being wheeled in. No. And the guy taking me in was like, first of all, can I take a selfie? Uh -huh. and, then, you know, and then was like, you know, I got this idea and I know you probably think I'm crazy. It's, it's bananas, like uh, <laughs> mammogram test. Oh my God. It's, it's crazy. So many there people you go. It's like, can I lift this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's crazy. So it's many cool. people have become so successful off of the show, including That's why. our girl, mm -hmm. Cardi. Cardi B, one of the biggest stars. So when you cast Cardi, did you know then, did you have any idea that she would blow up how she's blown up now? I and mean, was she the same girl that we know and love today? Well, one, absolutely. Same, unfiltered, no holes barred. Oh, wow. Say anything that, she, that comes to her mind, yes. absolutely. But you know, did I have any sense? I can't say I did. Yeah. You, oh. know, you know when you're sitting across from someone, especially having been a manager, there's like mm -hmm. the goose bumpy yes. feeling in your mm -hmm. stomach. Mm -hmm. But if you knew it in advance, right, you'd yeah. be able to bottle it. Right. There's, uh -huh. It's like when you're sitting across, there was always something special about her. Yeah. She knew what she wanted musically. She was focused on that, but you know, I'm so happy for her. Thank you. She's oh, so wow. Yeah, that's great. Speaking of Cardi, I love this picture of her here. Do you think that oh, Cardi and Offset are done for good, or do you think that they'll actually work things out? Oh, God. I always, I say <laughs> never say never. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Especially when it comes to matters of the heart, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's easy for us to look at it from the outside and kind of judge what we think is happening, but, like, I make it a point, like, you never know and don't judge. Love is love. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree with that. All day. <laughs>